welcome to Digi Pro Tips. I'm Andy Evanson, and here, here we work smarter and not harder. And that's why today we're going to use Content Aware Fill in After Effects to make 2.5D, also known as Parallax, much, much easier. Let's do it. Here, we work smarter not harder, and that's why you need to hit the subscribe button and write us a comment, give us a like, because it's these sorts of videos that are gonna be saving you time, making you more efficient, boosting your creativity, and we're just gonna keep on coming with more and more tips and tricks just like these. But for now, let's jump into After Effects where we're gonna use Content Aware Fill to make the process of doing a 2.5D or parallax effect much, much simpler. Okay, so we're inside of After Effects and as you can see here, I have this picture of a hummingbird um, going towards a flower. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale it down to fit the comp and I'm just gonna create a mask around this bird I'm going to do that really quickly just so that we can skim through this and essentially what I'm trying to do is I'm creating a hole in the image. Why I'm doing that is because I want content aware fill to generate a background for me which is what you'd normally have to do in Photoshop um, by painting it in and that takes a long time whereas content aware fill that's what it's there for. It can do that. So we've got our mask, we just need to add, make it subtract in the blend mode and make sure that our timeline is only one frame long. And then we go to content aware fill on the right there, choose surface, choose work area, and then hit generate fill. Now we're not choosing object because it's not a moving object within a scene and we just need the work area because we are then gonna stretch out this image, freeze frame it and stretch it out because we just need that one frame to be filled. So now we have our filled layer. I'm gonna duplicate the bird and change the mask to add. Pre-comp the fill and the normal bird background so that I just have a background of um, a automatically generated fill and then the bird mask on top. That means I have the bird separated from the background and it was, it was like two minutes, that's all it took. So now I'm gonna change my layers to be 3D layers, add a camera, scale up the bird and push away the background and then scale that up so that I have some depth between the bird and the background. That means I can then add a camera move so that it looks like there is parallax going on and it adds a, another dimension, which is where the 2.5D comes in. You just need to add a, a small camera move and you'll, you'll see that kind of separation between the layers, which is what makes this effect really nice can then go a step further with the puppet tool and animate some of the areas that would normally be moving in a scene like this. So I'm going to choose the wings and um, move the head down a bit and that bottom tail is going to come in. And you can see towards the end here, I've got a really nice shot and you can do this with many, many other uh, images. Um, like I showed you with the mountain biker at the start and the surfer, it is that easy. This is going to speed up the process of making parallax 2.5D effect enormously. If you thought that was interesting, then check out this video on our top six plugins for After Effects because there's so much more that you could add to this to really boost it to another level. And if you enjoyed this video, then you know what to do. You need to hit that subscribe button. You need to write a comment. You need to give us a like because we're gonna be coming back time after time to give you videos just like this, making you more efficient, boosting your creativity, working smarter and not harder. We'll see you next time.